guys, so first of all, you can probably hear my baby in the background, so um, please excuse if she really wants to talk as well. So, um, today's video is going to be about apple cider vinegar, and I'm going to answer actually um, after my food books. Uh, people started asking me, um, what, why do you drink apple cider vinegar? And um, apple cider vinegar is um, used to treat and prevent loads of diseases. It's very high in nutrients, um, it's very high in potassium, phosphorus, iron, magnesium, um, chromium and um, loads of others. So apple cider vinegar helps produce stomach juices. It's great for older people who produce this uh, stomach juices um, a little bit less than younger people. So they should really drink it every day. Um, and stomach juices are um, needed to digest the food and loads of people think that um, they need to reduce stomach acid, but it's a completely opposite. It helps um, ease up stomach cramps, and it's good for um, and it helps for diarrhea as well. It contains probi uh, probiotics, and it also contain, uh, contains pectins uh, that help to ease up stomach cramps. It helps for indigestion before it even starts. Uh, so if you do suffer from in indigestion regularly, um, I would suggest drinking apple cider vinegar before meals, like half an hour before meals. It also, um, if it's drunk in the evening, it prevents muscle cramps. Um, so if you do suffer um, muscle cramps at night, um, drink it in the evening. It also has got antifungal properties, so it helps with uh, to clear sinuses and sinus 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 problem are usually connected to the fungal problems in the body. Um, but drinking apple cider vinegar will help you clean, clear uh, the sinus um, the sinuses. It also helps um, to boost energy. It's a great energy booster. So if you feel lethargic quite a lot, I don't know if you can hear me because it's just my, my baby trying to talk. Um, yes. Um, so it um, helps um, with energy and it also uh, prevents buildup of lactic um, acid uh, which um, you can get after exercising and after exercise it's also great to drink it instead of um, some energy drinks because it's really ri um, high in um, electrolytes. It is actually really good for heartburn and um, I know that lots of pregnant women drink it in pregnancy because it's um, allowed to drink, um, you're allowed to drink it in pregnancy. I didn't because I didn't have a taste for it, so it depends, and I didn't have heartburn in pregnancy um, either, but I used to suffer uh, with heartburn when I used to smoke, and um, since I quit smoking, and um, I, it's, it just improved really, um, really a lot, and um, so it helps for heartburn, and what else? It whitens the teeth as well and balances actually the skin pH. And um, so if you have problems with acne as well, um, you can make like a toner with apple cider vinegar and rose water and treat it and put it like on your um, skin. It also helps with arthritis and pain. Um, it's proven actually to be really great for it. It also speeds up metabolism, but here I would be really careful because people, when people hear it speeds up metabolism, uh, you can lose weight drinking apple cider vinegar, they are going to drink it like literally bottles of it. And this is not the case uh, because everything obviously in moderation and it's supposed to be as a sort of supplement. So obviously healthy diet, exercise, healthy lifestyle is the key to lose weight and um, apple cider vinegar can only help and it can help move, um, boosting uh, metabolism. It also helps for bad breath. So if you have bad breath problem, drink apple cider vinegar or rinse your mouth. It helps with constipation and it helps with diarrhea. Okay, I'm not gonna finish this video, I think. My baby just wants to talk, so I've got her here. Um, okay, so it stabilizes blood sugar and I actually started drinking it. Um, that was one of the reasons because when I started having hormonal problems, PCOS, um, obviously they wanted to put me on metformin to regulate my blood sugar levels because uh, when you have PCOS, it's usually um, high, um, it's uh, hypoglycemia and um, insulin resistance. So blood sugar, uh, problems so I decided to go natural way I decided not to take the drug and I actually um, started drinking apple cider vinegar so that was one of the reasons so I started drinking about five years ago I had a break as I said when I was when I was pregnant and um, hello and yeah so um, how do you drink it uh, you basically put two tablespoons in a glass of water just room temperature and um, if you can't stand the taste um, at the beginning, just start with one teaspoon and then increase it into, you know, one tablespoon and two tablespoons. Um, I drink it 
once a day only because I don't really have any major problems and um, I but if you do have suffer um, with like in uh, from indi indigestion or anything like that I would suggest drink it um, just half an hour before meals you can also drink it during meals but it's uh, generally basically it's not recommended to drink anything uh, with your meals because it dil um, dilutes uh, stomach juices but apple cider vinegar actually helps produce stomach juices so this is one thing that is actually allowed um, to drink during um, meals but it's always better to drink it half an hour before so um, that's it about apple cider vinegar and um, its benefits um, when drinking it and let me know if you do drink apple cider vinegar and um, I hope you find this video useful thank you very much for watching <laughs> baby saying bye as well and I'll see you next time bye bye